push it. Making a dust it. Stiff. What's the stiff and soft? What is that now? How the rod reacts. That's just some guy I have to play with and see what he likes. Yep. What's normal? What's the old school? What is that more to the stiff side or the soft side or what? I don't know. Just depending on what you're used to. Yeah. Like a big heavy duty welder, does it go? Does it feel stiffer to you or softer to you or what? I don't know. And it's going to sound like this for 200, for 200 amps. About what I get out of these. Get them to run the motor. That's amazing. Oh, this wow. right here, yeah. This is Excel power. It runs like this, makes power. 15 inch circuit and an idle. Wow. So that's going to run my hose trimmer, no problem. Should. This plug over here is going to run wide open if you plug something in here. That is, you can weld and run something at the same time? Yeah, you can weld and run right here at the same time. Okay, and then this is just for. That's just the standard one that's going to run wide open. Okay. Oh man. And two yep. twenty. Yeah. <coughs> two twenty across here. What's this here? Did you that, break that, for it? That's the main breaker. Okay. Then he's got breakers up here too. Oh, okay. Draws in there, don't it? Yeah. That's your wire, that's your CD, that's your CC. Okay. But it, it tells you. This is your what, what now? This is for a wire box. If we're going to run MIG for CV. Constant voltage, okay. And this is constant current, CC for dig, stick, and gouging. This okay. is our negative. That's our positive. Okay. Okay. I've never. Uh... So how do you hook your gas up if you're going to TIG off of it? How do you do all that? I've never seen that done before. Okay, you just feed the hose right to your yeah. torch. Yeah. You've got a gas valve on the TIG torch. You open the gas valve up and strike an arc. And no old throttle pedals type of stuff then on You can. You turn it right over here. Put the and then that, that runs in your remote? Yeah, it runs right in there. Okay. Boy, the technology, that bastard. That damn sure ain't the legend, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that is compact. Quiet. Real quiet, you yeah. know what? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and there's your fuel from the outside. Oh, what was the other side, the water? Is it water cooled? No, not water, it's fuel, it's a fuel tank. Okay, well, what's this? How does it tell you fuel level? From the, the fuel is the whole bottom of this son of a bitch. Oh. The whole bottom is fuel tank. It goes all the way to the bottom. But it also tells you on the get front. There's a the fuel gauge. Ain't that something? Oh, that baby's high tech, yeah. Mm. Now, how do you adjust the soft and hard again? You gotta push the button. Push the button in and adjust the soft and hard. Once it's running, Push the button, you can, this will light up. You can adjust the Arc control, control, okay. And that's nothing God can talk about. God just has to play with it, see yep. what he likes. Uh -huh. USB charger? No, that's <laughs> probably to change the software in the machine. Okay. It's the first one I've seen with that on there, but I'd say it's probably to change the software in the board. Okay. Get on millerwelds.com. See what it's got, yeah. Put it on a you know, on a flash drive. Mm -hmm. If they have software updates. 
Okay. Everything's computer controlled. Yep. Yep. What's this to ground to? Chassis ground. Okay. That's a good idea. They, okay. All machines have had that for a long time. If you put it on your truck, you know, run that down to your truck, chassis ground. Okay. What's in here? What's on top of them? Oh, we're air cleaner and stuff like that. Damn, they put the motor up front. That's neat. Yeah. That's how they got it so much shorter. Yeah, they turned it around. Which is great for you guys, but. Sucks, yeah, sucks. for working on that ain't gonna help now. Sucks ass on my side. Yeah. Of it. yeah. That's amazing. And then it, it tells you. Oh, you yeah. Use your setup guide. The Excel power and uh, now the Excel power means that it'll react to what it needs as you're pulling on it, and then this yeah. just goes wide open. Yeah, that one will go wide open. Okay. The Excel power it produces it at idle. Okay. Okay. Very fuel conservative. Got gotcha. you. We'll have batteries in there. Of course, that ain't an issue you're gonna run into very often, but boy, it's in there. Mm. It's easier to get to anything. How do you do it? Take this whole end off. Okay. Well, one thing about it, when you took the end off, it'll all be there though, ain't it? Yeah, you just drop, drop the sides off of it. Four screws up here, four screws on the bottom, the whole end slides off. Hmm. That's cool. <laughs> well, I guess that's any stupid questions I got. I think it'll fit okay. Oh, there's plenty of room. Well, that is a lot more compact. Of course, the battery tray on the on the Legends, a lot of it, you know. I think you got her. Well, there she is. I'm going to take the legend off of Whitey. And it's going this lot. I'm going to clean that up a little bit before I put it back on the manor truck. And at least we'll have two trucks set up again. Um, as far as the big blue, for, the big 40 goes, uh, I'm going to fix it. Uh, finally, enough of you's got a hold of me. Uncle Tony says fix it. So... And a bunch of you told me to fix it. And I need to experience anyways. I'm not a good motor man. I've played with a few of them. Though. I've never rebuilt one, but I've put the heads on and stuff before and ran the rack and all that stuff. I'm... And I can read. I know how to read. I did get through high school. So I think I can put that together. And then when we get done, we'll have something. And uh, at least we'll have something around. And it's a gouging machine now. I hate to let that thing go to Hades. Okay, what? Um, I didn't cover Jesse. I, 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 I hate to, I feel, feel awkward. Like, if you come up to me and you're all like, oh, Lord, wait, you know what, yada, yada, we watch your stuff and stuff, I could turn the camera on, it ain't a problem. But I get around somebody that don't know about Lord Wade and stuff and don't watch that stuff. And and I don't go around telling everybody there's Lord Wade, you know what I mean? I don't like doing that either. Like, I don't wear this stuff out in public and stuff. And I mean, I... <clears throat> but Jesse, me and him has been buddies for a long time. I remember when I was a kid, I was a lot of years ago, I'd call it a kid. I was probably in my 20s, but Jesse... 
he he drove a log truck for my uncle. I mean, he'd been around for ever. I mean, he was in the woods. I mean, we I, I pushed him out in the skitter before, you know, loaded him down. Or, you know, I mean, we've been we we known each other before. And he actually went to work for Arkwell, which is a very good company out of Corbin, Indiana. If you all is in our area and looking for welding advice and stuff, Jesse's great. They're good people to deal with. They handle good products and they're quality. And they're used to working. So uh, they're used to results. So, and I always consult Jesse and I in trying to get, promote everybody calling Arkwell and asking questions and stuff like that. I don't want none of that done. Uh, but if you're serious, you're looking for a welder, you're looking for parts and supplies and stuff for good people around. Uh, of course, we deal a lot with air gas too. But uh, but I deal, I like to deal with Arkwell too. They answer a lot of questions. They take care of you in a smaller, more face-to-face -face level. You know, and they were, you know, air gas is going to do you a lot of good stuff. But but you want to make sure and take care of your boys. It takes care of you too. You know, and. Uh, <clears throat> And, and, and if Jesse, for some reason you ever watch this, thank you, man. Uh, you've helped me in so many ways. I just wanted to say thanks. Uh, but he's found his, you know, life doing this, and he's great at it. He's good with people. He knows small engines. He owes these welders. He's good with this stuff. And I think that's his calling in life, you know. But me and him, we always get to shooting the bull back and forth because because, you know, I know him back before he got the job out there and stuff, you know. Uh, I got to work with him out in the bush and stuff. And he was always a neat character. But anyways, I just want to put that little plug in there for him. about where I'm gonna set it. There's enough room in here to read everything and do everything. It's a little snug, but I don't want to get it any closer to my semi and my truck exhaust. The fuel tank's right up here. I think that's good enough. I think that's where she needs to be. I think that's just fine right shower.